Hello keyframe in DaVinci Resolve 20. Inside the edit tab in DaVinci Resolve version number 20, I'm having a media file which I'm gonna use for my example. I'm gonna highlight it and open inspector from the top right and I'm gonna create a keyframe next to the values of zoom and position in the beginning of the video. That is my first keyframe and then I'm gonna move forward and also I'm gonna change the values of zoom, x, y and position so that I can create my second keyframes. And so far these are keyframes that I used to be like that in the previous version as well. As you can see it is slowly zooming in and adjusting it. Now what's different in the Ventures of 20 is that you're having this keyframe panel right here. On the left side you're gonna see all the transform parameters that you're gonna have and in our case we have just adjusted the zoom xy position and the position xy on the position. You can see the keyframes in the beginning and also at the end you can grab them and move them left and right in order to change their location. You can also highlight everything by clicking the top diamond and it will move everything together. You can put them closer to each other to speed up the process or move them apart to slower the process. In this DaVinci Resolve 20, you'll have to work with this keyframe panel, which is on the top side next to the sound library. You can click the very top backwards icon so you can reset all of the keyframes on all of the positions or you can reset them manually one by one by clicking next to them in order to disable all the keyframes on the current channel. And another very essential thing about this keyframe panel is this icon which is expanding a new window which you can use in your different screen if you're having a second monitor. And in here you will see all the keyframes that you have just made. By hovering over them you will see the name that is popping out, that way you can recognize what is it. And then you can click on one of them, let's say for example this one, I'm clicking on it, highlighting and then selecting this icon which will allow us to adjust the spline and making it easing in or out making our keyframes even smoother i'm gonna make the same for the second one highlighting and the same icon that way i can ease up the keyframe and making the transition between the two keyframes more gradual those were the essentials of the keyframes there's a lot more to cover so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this one i hope it was helpful thanks for watching and see you in the next video